Are you looking for a way to edit the face of your SFM characters? Struggling to find a way to make really horrible animations actually. Uh, I've already done this bit before. Hmm. Okay, so let me just recap what we've accomplished in part one of this. Okay, so in part one we learned that if you download this add-on, install it into Blender, check this box, go to this link, copy the URL, go to this link, paste the URL into here, click here, go into Blender, click import, click source model and import the rest of the textures. <gasps> then you can get a pretty good SFM model into Blender. But there was quite a few comments asking how to move and contort the characters' faces, because right now our scout is looking very scary, and creepy, and eerie, and alarming, and blood curdling, and spine chilling, and shocking, and... uh... hairy? So in this video, I'll show you how to get this scout's face to move. Right before I do that though, there's a few things I have to note. When you import the scout, you can see that he's missing a few textures by default. Opening up the shader editor leads you to, brace yourself, this. What the hell is all this? Don't worry though, because there's a very simple solution. Just get the number labelled as dollar sign fong ball and turn it down to zero. And now he has a face. With the eyes, I said I had to do it in the previous video, but I didn't do that well of a job describing it. So, go into the folder, go into materials, go into models, go into player, and then go shared, and then there's all the eye textures. And just import those in with import, source engine assets, and source texture. Back in the shader editor, plug an image texture with the eye material into the principled BSDF, and go ahead and crank down the roughness while you're at it. And we're done! And now, finally, let's get to probably the reason you clicked on this video, how to get the face move. When I was planning how this would work, I was originally going to use bones, but I didn't think that would work that well. Then I had a genius idea. I could use shape keys. It's like a... I, I don't know how it works, but here's a demonstration. Okay, so just imagine that, but on a face. A scout's face. But then, as I imported the scout and whatnot, I opened up the object data properties panel, and saw that there's already shape keys for every conceivable emotion slash facial expression. This is great, because all you have to do now is pick whatever emotion you want to convey, and turn up the dial here. It's that easy. And if it wasn't good enough, you can actually change the max distance you can mould this scout's face. This just extends it in the same way, but more. Now, I don't know about you, but this right here, where you can just make these abominations, really reminds me a lot of Gmod, which is very good. But wait, it gets better. You can even animate the damn things, and make my man over here actually say things. In this scene, I'm making him say good for some reason. Anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm clearly no 3D animator, but for what it's for, it's pretty good. And I'm sure someone with more skill in this field could create something way better than this. Also, just in case you're wondering, you can in fact move the eyes as well. Not through shape keys, but with the texture. Using a mapping node, you can easily move around the position of the eyes. It's quite sensitive, so just hold shift while doing it for more accuracy. And yet again, you can animate this. Maybe just add a timeline in the shader editor, so it's easy to see. Also, if I were you, I would delete one of the eye materials. This makes the eye that had the texture share the other one. Then you can move both eyes with the same texture. Pairing this with the facial animations creates a really realistic emotion. And, if you select the bones, go into pose mode and start rotating them, then that can help create even more life, as you can see here. Just note that every time you create a new frame, select all the bones and then keyframe them, even if you didn't move them. Uh, I don't know, if you want to know how to animate stuff with a rig, just look up a tutorial for it. To show you how quick and easy this method really is, I just made this really quick pose here, and look how good this looks! This could be on a poster! And the whole thing really only took about a minute to make. One last thing before I go, in the description of this video, I'll be posting a link to an optimized, cleaner version of all the TF2 guys for your own use. All that will be changed is converting some of the tries to quads, and some occasional merging by distance. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and hit the bell so you never